Alright, so I want to do something here. This kind of goes against my... Uh, beliefs? No. <laughs> Mm, I don't know what to say it goes against, but normally I don't want to do something like this, but I have the resources to do so, and um, I want to. So, here it is. Let me turn down the volume a little bit to explain what's what is going on with me right now. Um, I sometimes forget that I have Genesis Crystals. And I have quite a bit of Genesis Crystals. And I haven't done a single top-up since Matland release. I'm not going to top-up, but I have Genesis Crystals. The amount of Genesis Crystals I have equate to more than 80 pools worth of Crystals. And I didn't think about this until just now because I like to pretend these don't exist because I only really like to use them for skins, gliders, etc. For example, I've already purchased Nilu's skin and Shenha's skin pretty much the moment that they came out. And from doing Welkin Moon and whatnot over the course of time, I have been able to replenish a good amount of Genesis Crystals that I spent on those skins. Now, Welkin Moon alone did not get me enough to replenish both Shenha and Nilu skins that I spent Crystals on. I also did the smaller top-ups <clears throat> with some extra money that I had on the side that I just always kind of had sitting there not doing anything. Uh, and when I say on the side, I mean savings, not checking account, because there's a difference. My checking account is like my actual important money, but I just had money in my savings account that I never dipped into, and um, I only wanted to spend it on just for fun things, not for actual savings. Um, so that's kind of my thing, and so I just decided, okay, I'll just do the uh, dollar top up, the five dollar top up, and I, I think I think I did the fifteen dollar top up. And so I was able to get the bonuses before 5.0 came out as a result. So just a little bit over $21, right? And uh, that got me from something under 12,000 Genesis Crystals to 15,000. Um, I th again, I think I did the $15 top up. I, I really can't remember that. I'd have to go back and look at my statements. But either way, um, it would make the most sense if I did. <laughs> uh, either way, because of the amount of Genesis Crystals that I have, technically that also means that I have the ability to guarantee Shilonen right now. Here's my issue. Um, I currently have 16,000 Prima Gems saved up. That's going to go into the next banner. That's, I'm going to do 20 pulls for Nahida, period doesn't matter who the four stars are I plan to pull for Nahida's C2 just a little bit not like a full 80 wishes or something like that right it's just hey if I get it cool if I don't oh well I built pity that's what I'm going to do that's what I've been doing but for Shalonen I really was hoping to get her and uh, I was very sad when I wasn't able to do so with just the Prima Gems alone. And I have plenty of Prima Gems that I could just get her right now, but I'm not trying to dip into my Chaska savings, because I want to get Chaska. I don't think I'll be getting Chaska's weapon if I do this now, but here goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert Genesis Crystals 1,600 at a time, into Primo Gems and try to get Shilonen one temple at a time. So if I look at my history, right now I'm at zero pity because I just got Dea. I can't show the history on screen because I'm, I'm doing this stream from the PS5. I always mention that, but for anyone watching on YouTube when I upload this pod, um, because of 
console streaming, you can't really include the web browsers that pop up on the screen. Um, and unfortunately, the history of my wishes opens up in a web browser, not within the game itself. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm, I'm unable to stream like additional web browser stuff. It's weird to me, but I don't know. Anyways, that said, I also have Star Glitter. But I don't think I'm going to spend the Star Glitter. I'm going to keep that where it's at. I've already spent a good portion of it. No need to keep spending. So, the goal... The goal is... And with the terrible luck that I've had, I don't see it happening. But the goal is to reach bare minimum C5 Candice. Bare minimum. Which means if I get Shilonen within 80 pools, I will still spend 80 pools worth of Genesis Crystals in total. And I will try to get C5 Candice if I don't get C5 Candice before I get Shilonen. Shilonen right now for me is guaranteed. If I get C5 Candice before I get Shilonen, then that's the end of it. I'm that's my goal. That I've I've done it essentially. Um, we're gonna get a free Candice later, so I'm okay with that, right? If I get an early Shilonen, like really really early, and I don't get C5 Candice again, I'm just gonna keep pulling until I've spent in total 80 wishes worth of Genesis crystals. But I do not recommend people top up. As I always, or as I've been saying on the last few streams, uh, when I end the stream, to remember or don't forget that you do not need to spend money to get good in this game. And I really mean that. You don't need to spend money to have like the best account or anything. I mean, there are people doing YouTube channel or YouTube video. Um, you call them not playlists I mean they put them in playlists but it's like a whole thing um, series there we go God, I can't think it's, they do a whole series dedicated to a specific type of YouTube video right uh, and there are people that do four stars only YouTube videos for Genshin Impact you know, um, you don't need to have five stars to beat Spiral Abyss and complete the content in this game. Maybe Imaginarium Theater, <laughs> but um, I, I think I've seen people, even with Imaginarium Theater, able to complete either in its entirety or mostly with just four stars only. So, again, you don't need to spend money to have a good account, a capable account right you can still get five stars without spending money you do not have to do this the only time that i would ever advocate or recommend to spend money which i don't recommend you spend money but the only time that i would say you know you shouldn't feel bad about spending money the only time that i will say that is if you are not going to be put under or be put in debt essentially not be behind your bills etc. Uh, if you're getting an allowance, let's say, from your parents, you know, that you spend it wisely, that uh, if you had planned to save a portion of that allowance and then use a portion as spending money, well, then that spending money portion, if you want to use it, it's yours to use. You can use it however you want. If this makes you happy, then do what makes you happy. The only time that I would say that you shouldn't feel bad for spending money is if you don't hurt yourself financially for doing so. This game makes plenty of money even off of uh, low spenders and hell, even free to play players, believe it or not. You don't need to spend money to support the game because maybe it's your favorite game you want to show support. You don't have to. And really, if you wanted to, I mean, if you really want to support them and you want to spend money, you could just do the, the dang Welkin Moon and Battle Pass, and that's that's going to be plenty. They have so many 
companies like this have so many people just doing that that they make so much money just from low spenders because the whales usually they uh, not the giga chad whales whatever you want to call them not the omega whales right uh <laughs> but you know the people that whale out on characters and then that's it they're not going to be continuously spending money over and over again especially when there's not as many new characters coming out uh, for them to be interested in right so they're making most of their money from low spenders so again you should not feel bad for spending money and i will i will say that if you are not putting yourself in a bad situation then you should not feel bad for spending money i don't recommend it but you should not feel bad for doing so i had the means to get these genesis crystals when i got them so that i could have them sitting there just to get a skin or two and what i had done when the when the glider came out that um it was some sort of orchestra event like some music event the glider came out here it is wings of transient dreams this was a purchasable glider and i was like you know what i haven't topped up at all and i have all this savings from my pre my previous job or i was still working at the time i can't remember but i just thought to myself this isn't going to hurt me financially i can pay it off right away like right this second and so i bought the hundred dollar top up and bought the glider it didn't cost a hundred dollars at all i just topped up at the hundred dollars because that was the most bang for your buck that was the most value and i wouldn't miss it and i still haven't missed it <laughs> i'm still fine financially and so I just held on to those Genesis crystals and in case of a situation like now where I just really want a unit and uh, I don't want to keep dipping into my Prima Gem reserves, right? Like I want this to be just for Chaska. I want these pools available for Chaska. I want to guarantee Chaska. And I think with the amount of Prima Gems that I'll be able to save for the rest of this banner phase, I should be able to get a Chaska. Like, even if I lose another 50-50, I should guarantee Chaska. So, with that said, I am going to now start pulling. And uh, once I'm done, I will do another recording. So, I'll have two recordings. And, uh, yeah, I'll upload it to YouTube. Maybe not right away, but I will upload it to YouTube within the next day or two. So, with that said, let's begin. So we're going to do, uh, oh wait, how do I go down by just one? There we go. So we're going to do 1,600 at a time. So 10 pulls at a time. There we go. And now, first 10 pull. Come on, Candice. I just continue to be disappointed with Dory. Why do I keep getting Dory? At least I got two four stars this time. All right. That's so sad. So we are now at 10 pity. Next 10 pull. All right, we're at 20 pity. We got one Candice. There we go. We just need one more. And I'll be satisfied with that as far as Candice is concerned. All right. Let's do another 1600. There we go. Here we go. Third 10 pull. Will we get the early or will we get another Candice? Let's see. All right, no five star, dirty pity in. I hate this. Why do I get so many freaking weapons on a character banner? They're, that should be illegal. And a dragon's bane? You couldn't be a fab sword or something. A dragon's bane? How many dragon's bane? Let me let me take a look real quick. All right, so that was my thirtieth pull. So let me let me just take a look. Let me look at dragon's bane on my account. We have, where are you? There we go. So this is a, 
already refined one, right? So we want to find the new one that I just got. Here it is. Actually, I can just use this as an example. So if I were to go refine this, I can see how many Dragon Spains I have. This is a rank 4 Dragon's Bane. R4 Dragon's Bane, I just got another one. So this would be my third R5. That means I got 15 Dragon's Banes already. Without pulling on the weapon banner. <laughs> I don't think I've ever pulled on a weapon banner that Dragon's Bane specifically was on. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. But I'm fairly certain that... Anytime I've pulled on the weapon banner, um, I would, for the well, for the most part, I would stop at the first or second five star because that's usually when I would get what I wanted. Uh, with the exception of Cloran's weapon, I got two back-to-back -back five stars, but missed her weapon twice in a row. But that still wasn't, you know, a hundred. No. I forget what that weapon pit, weapon pity is a little bit different. So I, I didn't spend 80 pools for each 5 star that I got before I finally got Cloran's weapon. So I still only spent around 90 pools for Cloran's weapon. And, and if Dragon's Bane was on her banner, on her weapon banner, then I can guarantee I didn't get that many. <laughs> I don't think it was, but yeah. That's one time, and then Ayaka's weapon. I did pull for Aika's weapon um, a lot. I got Shenha's weapon, right? And uh, I don't remember if Dragon's Bane was on that banner as well. But I got Shenha's weapon, and then I got... It was either Aika's next, or I got Lost Prayer and Sacred Wings. Because I've gotten this three times now. Um, and then the other time that I didn't get the uh, five-star right away was when I pulled for Yoimiya's weapon. I got Nahida's. I didn't plan on pulling for Nahida's weapon because I had, um, I had, you know, four-star al alternatives. Um, but yeah, I got Nahida's weapon, and then I got Yoimiya's after. Those are the only times that I pulled for a weapon on the weapon banner where it went so far into pity or so many pulls or whatever. Every other weapon I've gotten, I've usually gotten on the first try, or if I didn't get them, I stopped trying. I, I pulled for Staff of Homa got Tome of the Eternal Flow, and I gave up. Um, I pulled for Arlequina's weapon. I didn't get it early, but I still got it. <laughs> Raiden's Engulfing Lightning, first 10 pull, got it. Sino's weapon, don't remember. I don't remember why I pulled for it. Maybe he was on the same banner as Dea, because I did pull for Beacon, and maybe I got Staff of Scarlet Sands as a result. I, I honestly don't remember. I, I didn't pull for Sino's weapon because I had Sino. I promise you, I don't remember why I pulled for this weapon. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I got. So, Dragon's Bane, I've gotten now three R5 Dragon's Banes. And I don't even use my leveled up Dragon's Bane. I don't even think it's level 90. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's level 50. I just, I don't use this weapon. I don't have Hootel, so, I mean, if I had Hootel, maybe... But it's actually not even, because I have Ballad of the Fjords. I would rather use this than Dragon's Mane. Because let's be real, I mean, this gives quite a bit of EM, but this gives 240. <laughs> so, and crit rate, so it's just there's no point! Uh, I'm so unlucky when it comes to that weapon. I forgot that that weapon also curses me. It's not just Favonius Greatsword, Sacrificial Greatsword, and the Bell. It's also Dragon's Mane. Anyways, that's enough ranting. Let's get into the 40th pull. God, this is all going to be in the video, I just realized. Ah, I yap a lot. Here we go. 40 pulls. No early. Let's see a Candice. Damn. This is really looking bad. Okay, 40 pity. 40 pity in. Okay, running out of crystals here. <sighs> Alright, 50th pull. Come on, Candace. Come home, please. 
please, please. No early. Oh my god! I literally just got everything but Candace in the last 30 pulls. How hard it why well, no I I know how hard it is. Why did they make it so hard to get a four star unit that you want to get? Like come on man. I'm surprised I even got Shepherds, man. Jesus. Alright, that was fifty, I think. We are now about to be at sixty pity. We're approaching soft pity. Here we go. Candace. Give me Candace. No early. I'm about to throw my controller out the freaking window. I just got another weapon. And it was Witsith, which is not a bad weapon. But I don't need freaking Witsith. I am now at 70. I'm about to be. Se I'm 60 pity, and I'm about to have done my 70th pull and I still haven't even gotten in total I still haven't gotten three copies of Candace that means that I've done in total for this banner 50 31 no I was at 20 pity uh, so I did 61 plus right now we're at 60 pity I have done a total of 120 pulls on this banner and I've, I've only gotten two copies of Candace. I have more than C6 Midori. And I've gotten two or three copies of Kole. And a crap ton of weapons. On a character banner. <sighs> Here we go. I gotta stop shouting. It's late. I shouldn't be shouting. <sighs> 70 pity. Here we go. Or 60 pity. Here's pool number... Pools number 70. I'm probably gonna get a 5 star. This is so sad. Here we go. No early still. Wow. Again. I'm so done with this fucking game. I'm so goddamn done. I'm so pissed right now. I am so fucking pissed right now. I am 70 pity in. 131 pulls later, and I still haven't gotten not even a C5 Candace. I should have just waited. I should have just waited. Here's the 5 star, most likely, and unless it does me dirty again and goes all the way up to 80. So, this is probably going to be Shalonen. And it's also 80 pulls. Which means, not only did I not get Candace to C5 before getting Shalonen, but I also didn't get Candace C5 before getting to my 80th pull. Lovely. Let's see what happens. There's the 5 star. All right, when uh, when Shalonen appears, I'm gonna mute my mic so I can hear the the hello dialogue. Actually, I'm just gonna mute right now because I'm probably gonna shout into a pillow or something when I don't see Candace. from the Children of Echoes. If you'd like me to forge some tools for you, just uh, let me know. But uh, I do have quite the backlog of commissions at the moment, so even if you submit a request now, it might be a while before I get to it. Man, why did that co-op request have to appear right when I'm doing this? Well, we got the Shalonen. We didn't get it early. We got it at 80 pity, give or take. I, I need to count. I, I wasn't counting, so 
We're going to count the rest of them here. One. Oh, that was, wow, that was 80. Yeah, no, that was 80. Pity. So we got Shalonen at 80, which means that my average of roughly about 75 to 76 is where I usually get the five-star the five star unit. Um, that just went down the drain. Um, now I'm, I'm probably closer to an average of like 78, 79 or so because I just got two units back to back at 80 and 81 uh, or 81 and then 80. So two five-star units in 160. That, like, that's the worst that I've ever had as far as luck with five stars on this account. So last banner was my best luck. In one 10 pull, I got two five stars. Granted, I was already at 70 pity when I did it, but I got two five stars. And now I can't even get them at within 160 pulls, like before 160 pulls. Anyway, still no Candice, so um, I guess we're not getting C6 Candice anytime soon. Um, that's depressing. That's very depressing. 